Hey folks, it's Adam once again, I can't see the guy. Um, in the mood to do a movie review right now. Well, same movie review, it's more like a fucking rant. Because it's a rant on a movie which I hope to be good. And I like it because it involves some of my favourite characters from a specific movie. But it didn't exactly go the way that I wanted it to go. I should have fucking known better really, I mean... It's a crossover movie, a versus. You know, I got an email saying, Adam, what do you think of Freddy vs. Jason? I love that film, Freddy vs. Jason. Everyone knows I'm a diehard Freddy Krueger fan. Favorite horror icon, love the guy. You know, and the movie itself, Freddy vs. Jason, was an epic movie. 2003, I believe, that came out. And I loved it. In fact, it's my favourite crossover movie that I've seen so far. I have seen other crossover movies. Uh, I've seen King Kong vs. Godzilla, that was okay for what it was back in the day. Uh, to say the truth, there's not many versus movies that I've seen that are bad, apart from this one, unfortunately. Um, let me get on a little bit of background. It's it's this movie right here. Dollman vs. Demonic Toys, that came out of the year of 1993. Now, if you've seen a previous um, movie review, I did a review on... This Blu-ray, Dollman. I haven't yet done a review on my favourite full moon movie, which is Demonic Toys. Alright? And the reason why I've not done a review on this Demonic Toys um, review yet is because before I made this video, I did a review on this movie and it was 20 minutes long. I really gone into the, the movie review, explaining in full detail what I liked about it. You know, the film does have its problems, but at the same time, I really enjoyed what was going on. Made the movie review... And then when I came to publish it, it was mute. <laughs> I don't know if it fucked, if I fucked along with the settings without realising it, but the movie itself was mute. Fucking mute. So I was pissed off. So I thought to myself, can I really review that movie again? I will another day. I'm just not in the mood to review another movie. Um, like Demonic Toys over again. It won't make fucking sense. I can't be arsed now. But this movie... I suppose... I suppose the reason why I'm doing a rant is because I'm in the mood now to do a rant because I'm really pissed off. Pissed off at the fact that this a previous movie review didn't come out so well because it was mute. So, why not do a rant? I'm in the mood for it. So I'm pissed off at losing the Demonic Toys um, review for New Sound. So I might as review this piece of shit right here. Now, this full moon movie gets more attention. It gets more praise and Demonic Toys. Dollman. Uh, for those of you who are not full, uh, familiar with Dollman, um, it, it is a full moon movie and Tim Thomason plays Brick Bardo in it. You know, the cop from outer space. Um, best gun in the universe, most powerful gun in the universe that shoots lasers. Um, the story about him landing on Earth where his gun is still the powerfulest gun in the universe and he can blow right through people. Yeah, but he's the size of a doll, you know, he's a doll man, basically. You yeah, know the story of Dollman, go check out the review. I'm not a big fan of Dollman, it's, it's okay on a mediocre level. I love this movie a lot more, and this is the movie, the one that everyone dislikes, Demonic Toys. I thought it was a fun little movie, a, a movie by Charles Band. And I've got to admit, I understand why people hate it, you know, the, the killer toys coming to life and killing people. Yeah, I know, I know how it fucking sounds. But I like movies like that. I'm sorry, I love cheesy, over-the-top horror movies. If they're enjoyable and you like what's going on, there's no reason at all to dislike the film. I like Demonic Toys. So now you get to this. Dollman vs. Demonic Toys, a crossover, a versus. I'm thinking, wow, this should be good. The first thing that attracted me to it was the front cover. Brick Bardo with his best gun in the universe shooting at the Jack in the Box. The demonic toys swinging around, like starting a bit of like a, um, a war. I'm thinking this should be fucking good. Freddy vs. Jason was good. Boy, was I fucking wrong. This does not compare to Freddy vs. Jason. It's nowhere near on the mediocre level. This film was a piece of shit. Uh, like I said, it came out in the year 1993. I dislike it for many reasons. Cut a long story short, the main reason is the demonic toys get defeated. So Dollman's the winner. So you got all these army of demonic toys against one man, Brick Bardo, 
who kills all these toys off without a sweat on his brow. You know, kills a jack-in-the-box. Pop goes the weasel. Kills a jack-in-the-box without a sweat. And he's the most evilest toy. So, basically, these demonic toys, I suppose they're the type of characters that I'd love to see have potential in future movies. But honestly, the toys in this did do, didn't do jack shit. Brick Bardo, the doll man, kills them easily. It wasn't action-packed, it wasn't funny, not violent. I mean, yet he got an 18 rated for severe violence, and I'll have no fucking idea why. But I was pissed off that the toys lost, because I'm more of a fan of the toys than doll man. You know? But he even did a sequel to the Demonic Toys first movie called Bad Channels. Yet they didn't do a sequel to Doll Man. He's been in one standalone movie. Yet they put him in the verses straight after that and he kills all the fucking toys. You know, it's not the first time the Demonic Toys have been in a um, a crossover. They was also in a crossover of Puppet Master. I'll get to that in another time, but... So I was pissed off that the Demonic Toys lost. But look what else I'm also fucking pissed off about this movie. How long it's on for. You will never fucking believe this. According to this Wikipedia, it's on for 64 minutes. Bollocks. Fucking correction, it's only on for about 45 minutes. If you take out the end credits and the opening credits, this movie is only 45 fucking minutes long. You know, and we're talking about a crossover movie here, fucking verses. How can you make it action-packed? How can you make it um, outstanding? How can you make it even watchable? But it's only 45 fucking minutes long. So Charles Band did a lot of bullshitting about this movie. He can't even get the length of the time of the movie right. 45 fucking minutes. That's not even a fucking... Decent time for a normal film. Never mind a fucking crossover. I'm not kidding. This movie has opening credits. It has ending credits. And the first start of the movie, you get flashbacks from the Doorman movie. You get flashbacks from the Demonic Toys movie. And you get flashbacks from the second movie of Demonic Toys called Bad Channels. So, excluding all of them, it's a 45 fucking... Sorry, it's, it's fucking unbelievable. A 45 fucking long movie for a crossover. I'll get in details why I get more pissed off along the way, because... It's not just the fact that the Demonic Toys lost and the fact it's a short movie, but there's lots of reasons. The film opens up, you know, opening credits, the music was fine, there was nothing wrong with that. Um, shows Brick Brado's glasses with the Demonic Toys in the reflection. Fine, satisfying. You know, the film opens up. Um, it shows you how the Demonic Toys get um, resurrected in the most retarded way as possible. In the Demonic Toys movie, it was more believable because Judith Gray, who's played by the beautiful... Uh, what's the name now? Tracy Scoggins. Yeah, she was in this movie. It was great to see her character come back. She was the main hero in the first Demonic Toys movie. The fact that she was pregnant and the toys were trying to take over a baby's soul to be birthed to a demon. Fine, her character was strong, it was likeable, and it was really beautiful. And she's been in several roles, including films that I'm even familiar with. Watchers 2, that was made in 1990, where she played Barbara Wright. Um, dead on in 1994. Um, a Crack in the Floor, that was made in 2001. Hellborn in 2003. So she's been in other movies that I've liked. But her role in this movie was really poor and fucking pointless. When I saw her, I was over the moon that she came back. She was likeable in the Demonic Toys movie, but her character was so weak in this movie. And I was thinking, did she have a baby at this time in this movie? You know? Did she have a baby in time? Because a baby wasn't even mentioned, and it was the main reason why the Demonic Toys came back in the first movie, so a baby wasn't mentioned. Um, what else was there? Her character was weak. She was the hero of the first movie, yet she gets killed easily in this one by that um, toy that shoots the lasers. She gets shot, and she dies, so... Well fucking done, Charles Band. You kill off the only fuckable, likeable, beautiful character. Nice going. You brought her back just to get killed, and... I don't know if that was to make the demonic toys look strong or whatever, but you've killed off a likeable character, so you've killed off a likeable hero, which was supposed to be fucking strong. You fucking failed. Um, but how the toys come back was fucking retarded. This bum, this fucking homeless man. I'm not kidding you, he goes inside the toy warehouse... 
for some retarded unknown reason he's riding a bicycle um, right into a shelf this box that looks no more heavier than this fucking pillow right here falls on his head he falls off the bike cuts his head open he dies and the blood goes on the floor and he resurrects the toys now in the demonic toys it's more understandable because he got shot and just before he died the blood resurrected the toys but in this this one a bum just fucking rides a bike cracks his head open on a box that falls on him that's no lighter than my fucking pillar and he bleeds and the toys come back to life so so now we know the toys have come back meanwhile the girl who was from bad channels is in this movie also she's like you know a little mini version of the doll man she's in a house Brick Bodder somehow appears there. We don't know how, he doesn't explain himself, he's just there. They end up having sex, you know, he shoots a giant spider or a bug or whatever. Don't know what the fuck it's meant to look like, but he kills it. <sighs> you know, one thing leads to another, but that's another thing I did not like about this fucking dumb man versus demonic toys. The fact it wasn't going in any direction like he was really being interested in. I mean, how did Brick Bodder get there in this girl's house? Is she some sort of slut because she actually, you know, has sex with him in a matter of a few scenes or whatever? You know, I'll call her the doll chick, you know, because I can't remember her name. I've not seen the Demonic Toys 2, despite me liking it so much. It's not available here in the UK. Um, it's available abroad in America. I'm thinking of buying it because it's really cheap. And I've got a multi-region DVD Blu-ray player here, so I might check that out one day. But after seeing the weakening of the toys in fucking movies like this, I'm not sure if I want to see the direction that the demonic toys go in. Now, the first movie is the only likable movie I like with them characters. Long story short, they go to the fucking warehouse where now all the toys have come back. You know, you got the evil Jack in the Box. You know, you got Baby Oopsie Daisy. That's now played by a um, a male voice actor. I personally like the female voice actor in the first movie, but sadly she's no longer with us. She died of breast cancer in real life. Yet they decided now to make the character a boy, you know, a male. So, you know, the baby's perverted. It comes out with foul language, pisses its pants and all that kind of fucking shit. And he's like the, like the leader of these demonic toys. They bring back that shooter robot. That's all that killed off Judy Gray's character. You know... Then again, they they replaced like. Do you remember the like the demonic toys? If you've seen it, that little teddy bear that bites people to fucking shreds because it's got them sharp teeth. That's now re replaced with this other um, toy that can do some sort of combat or whatever. He's replaced with that. I wasn't very fond of that toy. You know, Brick Bodder kills him off. You now Brick Bodder kills off the Jack in the Box with no sweat with his powerful gun. You know, it's like as if he only uses this gun only to kill off all these um, demonic toys. So it's not much of a war, it's not much of a fucking battle. Pop goes the weasel, you know, shoots the fucking evil jack in the box. So This film did a good job of burying the demonic toys, basically. The man looked fucking weak. Brick Bardo's all by himself battling these entire army of toys. And he kills them all with no sweat. I mean, at the same time, they try and invent like a little bit of a story where Baby Ups today is trying to impregnate the, um, the doll chick. You know, he's tied to the bed, he's basically going to rape her, basically. Brick Bodder comes to raid and all that kind of shit, so. Brick Bodder saves the day, but what a fucking time wasting of a movie. A fucking crossover movie that's on 45 fucking minutes. Making the demonic toys look weak, and they're the only characters I care about. I was pissed off at the fucking loss to Brick Bodder from Dollman. <laughs> I think it's only because the demonic toys are my favourite full new movie. You know what I mean? And to see him get... Lose to one man. It's not. It's not because it's not like um, I lost to an army of other people. I just lost to one man, Brick Bardo. You know. I don't know. I just didn't enjoy anything about this movie. In fact, it was so short. It wasn't much of a war battle scenes and all that kind of stuff. I'm more than likely to give this away to charity, you know, because I don't want it part of my collection, really. I mean, usually I like crossover movies, and the fact it's a 90s movie, you know, you get all the over-the-top action shit, but this nowhere near even came close to mediocre. 
I'll say some more facts about this. He had to kill off a lot of my character, Judith Gray, and... I don't know. Uh, what other things can be said about this movie before I shut the fuck up and end it? Um... Yeah, his official release date was October 13th of 1993. And the following year, they brought out an even worse crossover where Demonic Tours were in another versus against the Puppet Master. That's another rant for another day. And in my opinion, that movie was more fucking worse than this movie, which I'll get to when I get to review it. But I really wish I could have uploaded the um, Demonic Toys film review first, because I enjoyed doing that, but it was mute, so... I was in the mood to do a rant, so whatever way, whatever better way to review a film with the characters in, where the complete pusses in this movie. Um, so, long story short, in a 45 minute movie, excluding the end and beginning credits and the flashbacks, we get a 45 minute movie with no exciting scenes, no creativity. Charles Band, you fucking failed, dude. Um... You know, we get fuck all expectations of anything good. You know, well done Charles Band. You just buried the demonic toys. Something that could have had potential to be a franchise, but now you fucking ruined it with a crossover movie that was worth jack shit. Um, yeah, the Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys came out in 2004, another crossover movie, which I'll get into. Um, like again, this movie was spawned by um, three other movies, The Doll Man, The Demonic Toys, and The Bad Channels movie. Um, again, the poster drew me to it, you know. Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys, you know. One epic battle, that should be. Complete fucking flop. I don't know more else what I can say about this movie, other than it was a complete fail, a letdown, no creativity, nothing enjoyable. The opening credits theme was okay, but... Again, it didn't make the movie. We're going to have to do a whole lot better to make up a movie. And they didn't do much making up either because it was only 45 minutes, excluding all the stuff that I've already mentioned. So, fucking fail. This has got to be one of the worst crossovers ever. I mean, it's not the worst. I thought the worst crossover movie I ever saw was Dwight Toys vs. Puppet Master. That was even more fucking worse than this, believe it or not. And I'll get to that when I review it, but... Hopefully I'll upload another positive review. I might give the Demonic Toys review another try another day, depending on the time and the situation. So thanks for watching this, everybody. Stay away from this um, crossover movie. <laughs> you know, take it from either guy who watched it all the way through. It was a waste of 45 minutes. Flew by quickly, but at the same time, kind of dragged my life through the fucking woods. So thanks, everybody. Please like, rate, and comment. This is if you have any questions. Stay tuned.